Field in Chicago. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. Gene Segura standing in, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Off for the Phillies, the shortstop. Ready with the first Segura. pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting second, the second baseman, Cesar. Hernandez. Stepping up to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. He's set and the pitch. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. One there on the Rizzo at first, and they get them both. And now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Dero, right. how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? This team does it a little bit different, Matty. They're not going to drive the ball out of the ballpark. They are dead last in home runs. Usually a bad sign, but they can score in a variety of different ways. They got guys with great approaches, and they try and move and manufacture runs as well as they can. Be on the lookout for the little things today. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, I hope these guys were listening today during the hitters' meeting because they have not been swinging at bats well. They only scored one run in the loss yesterday, and somewhere along the line, this offense has to execute at a higher level if this team's going to compete. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies, and now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Aaron Nola gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Aaron Nola coming on the pride and joy of Louisiana State University. The kind of a four-pitch mix. Fastball, yeah. slider, curveball, and change. Go None of his pitches rate really on a scale of 10. None of them are eights or nines, but he's solid and he throws strikes. You'll know early if he's on, he'll induce a lot of ground balls. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. I don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball come early a little bit? Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. Okay, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. Zobrist is on his way home. And that triple could not have come at a better time. The team has really struggled the last few games trying to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them. And I'd say that triple definitely qualifies. They are fired up. Fly ball heading for the alley. On the move is Harper. And that will plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already 2-0 in the early going, and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's one for five. Oh, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Oh, hey, after giving up that extra base hit right there, I love the fact that he came back with much better location, much better execution. That might have woke him up. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. And now time to check on Joe Madden. His line to Cubbies up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? 
you know, I'm hoping to see Jason Hayward turn it around. He had only one home run last month, so if you're looking at a guy in the middle of the order with just one homer, your team's not going to score a lot of runs. He's got to turn on the power in this lineup if this team wants to have any success at all. The 0-1 delivery. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Bryant takes his lead at third with one away. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits good. in the opening frame Look was not it. what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn Dog things around right. on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Hit in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting seven. The center fielder. Ian. So stepping in, Ian Happ, and a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. Three runs already home here. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Into the bleachers and gone. So a two run shot to left center home run number five on the year and the Cubs have now opened this up to a five nothing lead. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that, that in the zone right over the no plate picture. against these guys okay. you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. The Cubbies are in front five to nothing. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Speedy Phillies. For Reese Hoskins will get us started in the top of the second. Reece. Lots of baseball Hoskins. left in this one. It's worth a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. The relay not in time and he's in there with a double. That was a pretty good fastball and it almost that got by him. But he's able to slap it into the gap in the right two. center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. Bryant gloves it, and that's out number one. OK here's how the Cubbies are lining up that defensively and if the you look at the viewers. numbers on this team oh, defensively they're in the top five fewest errors in the league flashing the leather picking and grinning keep an eye on them they play stout defense. At the plate Odubel Herrera. First delivery to him on the way. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the That's second that. out. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Bronco. So striding forward now, Michael Franco, runner in scoring position with two gone. First offering on its way. And that misses for ball one. 
I feel like when you're facing a two pitch mix like this sink or change up as an offense the game plan has to be the fact that you have to get something elevated. You know he's not going to beat you with velocity so it's going to come down to who executes better. That evens it up one and one. Hoskins stands at second with two gone. Line toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. And the runner scores from second as they chip into the deficit here. Batting it. The catcher, JT. Real Muto. Stepping up now, JT Real Muto. He's three for seven in the series coming in. First pitch on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. A runner on first with two away. Riamuto doesn't usually enjoy left handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the ball better coming from the right side but that's the book on him at this point in his career. Swung on in the dirt strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Cubs five and the Phillies one. Standing in, David Bodie. Leading off. Set to Will lead off come. the home half of the second. No Even though they're up by David. a boatload early on in this one, Bodie. you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And he fouls this one off. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And let's focus on third base now for Mike. Michael Franco. I think what gets lost in the shuffle, we get it. Offensive force. But he doesn't get enough credit for the way he handles the hot corner. The ability to pick it backhand and come up firing. Here's Ben Zobris now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. This is line to left. And this is going to be a fair ball heading out towards the 355 sign on the Ivy. Wow, and the hits just oh, keep piling up for them. Take a the look at the field. numbers here. That's Take already that. six hits, and we're oh, only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Push. Strike oh, taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Yeah. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0 2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff now, down and away. So he sets baseman. him down swinging. Red. Jason Hayward goes down for oh, the yeah. second out in the bottom half. Chris Bryant is at the plate now and he takes a cold oh. strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One left for the cup. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Aaron Nola. Nine, one and two do up. Nola. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0 and 1. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. 
Heading out towards shallow right. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Segura. Ready for another chance? Gene Segura. He's singled to open up the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it. Half. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Half on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Phillies down on just four pitches. They're down here five to one. We're just about set to go here as the Cubs come to bat in the third inning, and Chicago fans have been fortunate to watch one of the best offenses around this season. To start the day, they are ranked among the league leaders in both home runs and slugging percentage. I asked some of the hitters about their approach prior to the game, and they told me it's all about pitch selection. They trust in their talent, so as long as they're picking on good pitches to hit and not getting anxious to swing in the box, they know that will translate into a lot of production. Certainly seems to be working for them this year, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. In there, strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Herrera's there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, the left handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Pulled toward right center field. Herrera is there, two gone. The catcher, number 40, Wilson Contreras. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're up five to one. So coming to the plate, Bryce Harper. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Hey, obviously he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one, slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. And he squares up on this one, deep to straightaway right. And it's gone into the bleachers. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper, number 197 in his career, and it's now a 5-2 to two game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup, so a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world.
the first base. And that'll bring up the Sacramento Reese. product, Reese Hoskins. Oh. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far this year against Southpaws, Hoskins is hitting over 400. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a series of games or a whole career, that's an impressive figure. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Now batting, the left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Into the box now, Andrew McCutcheon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. The second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Up next for Philadelphia, the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. So base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, Odubel Herrera. First delivery to him on the way. And ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0-1. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Cubs five and the Phillies two. Digging in for his second at bat. In half, he hit a two run jack in his first at bat. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the first run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving in. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. McCutcheon is back near the Ivy as he no makes picture. the catch Number for the 62. first down. Jose Quintana. So here now is the pitcher, Jose Quintana, fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. There's a slogan that's throwing too many strikes. That might be the case for this guy in this outing right here. So far, not pitching all that well, but 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Popped him up. Real Muto is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the car. The left fielder, David Bodie. Standing in, David Bodie. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a first pitch curveball floats a bit high that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Right side hit hard. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies' offense, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They currently have more than one hit per inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. So far, the recipe for success has been to make contact early and often. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The third First base. delivery to him on Mike the way. Bronco. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Lifted in the air out to center field. 
moving under it. Hap looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, the catcher, JT Real Muto. So one away here with the bases empty, and in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Zobrist backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Up next for Philadelphia, the pitcher, Aaron Nola. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Aaron Nola. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here comes the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. Well, maybe he can take one positive from this right now here with that huge base hit. Off. I got to be honest, I wasn't even expecting Segura. him to go to the on-deck circle. The way he's been throwing the ball, scuffling a little bit, I thought maybe manager would pinch hit for him, but not so. But at least he's got the knock to fall back on. In now, Gene Segura, a bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. Billy Strand. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ben well, Zobrist. Come. Two hits and two the trips for him thus far. Yeah. Pitch oh, on the way. Hey. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Hey. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Man, you find yourself down 0-2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. Lifted in the air out to right. Harper moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting right fielder, Jason Hayward. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. We're in the fifth inning here, 5-2 is our score. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hot shot down the line, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Both teams with six hits so far. Hot shot to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. I think that base hit surprised him more it. than anything. He's gotten so used to setting Three. guys down at nine in a row at oh, that yeah. point that he just assumed he'd get him too. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. A ball and no strikes. Now a ball pulled hard and fouled off to the left. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Off and running is Hayward. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as the offline throw allows him to get in there easily. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Now that Boy, there's That's a bullet stop. base hit right there, there, but you have to hold there, d to make there. sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. This one's hit deep out to left center field. This one's into the bleachers and gone. So a three-run shot to left center, number 11 for him on the season, as it's now a six-run ball game.
think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one Number belt baseman. high. Number Big mistake. 44. He's a guy that will Anthony. feast on belt high pitches Let's on go. the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. The wind up and the 0 1. Line drive, fair ball down the line. Hey, there's a bullet down the right field line. That had double written all over, but a great the job by the right fielder to cut Wilson. it off and keep him to a single. John nice aggressive Brett. turn by the batter right there, but hats off to the right fielder to keep him from getting the scoring position. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras. No balls and a strike to count. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0-2. And on 0-2, oh, he misses with a fastball. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. 2-2 two and two to the Cubs catcher. Fouled away. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Into the bleachers and out of here. We've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty B, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Dero. The hitters on point, the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate, and this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. Ian Happ stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0, one and, oh. and he takes a cold strike one. Still only one out in the inning. And it's fouled away. Right side. Hernandez takes it in. And there's out number two. The pitcher, number 62, Jose Quintana. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jose Quintana. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Another good inning for the Cubs here, and you don't need me to tell you that these folks don't need much of a reason to have a good time. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB. Digging in once again, Cesar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The right fielder, number three, right. Harper. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Bryce Harper comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking the for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people Reese. on base. 
but oh. no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. Hayward is there to put it away for route number one. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The left field, number 22. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. Zobrist on to first, and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault now out there at second base. The center fielder, Odubel. Odubel. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set, here it comes. 0 and 1 the count. Bryant trying to get there, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Oh, behind the back. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, and the lead stays at eight. It's 10 to 2. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago, back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Matt, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said he's been really impressed with how they've hit in at-bats when they fall behind in the count. Five of their hits have come from those at-bats, and although they don't want to get behind in the count as often, it's a great sign that they're not defeated when they do. Thank you, Heidi. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. When you find yourself in an 0-2 hole against one of the best hurlers in baseball, you're basically just hoping to make contact. He's so good at putting guys away, though. Herrera, patrolling center, makes the play, one out. Now batting, the second baseman. Ben Zobrist. Ready once again, Ben Zobrist. He's two for three and looking for more here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And that's the second out. Up next to the car, the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward now. Two for three for him so far, including a triple. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Now that's popped up, and Franco will make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. At the plate Michael Franco he's he one for two in the ball game. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Oh one here's the pitch line towards center field and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. I know the scores out of hand right here but I've never met a big league now ball player that's going to give away an at bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. 
Standing in now, JT Real Muto as he drives a liner to right center. But uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Ladies Nick Williams will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pinch hitting for the Philly. Number five, Nick Williams. Check swing grounder to the right side. Fielded cleanly to second for one. The bat. That was Number kind of two. a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Into the box, Gene Segura lifted into the air out towards center field. Half on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire Wait, the side. One gone. left for We're Philadelphia, and the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two. Jared Eichoff enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Jared in there at the knees, strike one. Liner toward right center. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll make it to third with a triple. Well, the key to hitting triples is being aggressive now, right out of the box. He smokes this How's thing to the outfield and is thinking three oh, bags yeah. the whole way. And by the time they can get the ball back in, he's on his way to third with a leadoff triple. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now that first baseman. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Ready to take his hacks again. Wilson Contreras as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Pereira is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting, center fielder, Ian. Riding in once again, Ian Hunt. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for sure. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Eighth inning now from Wrigley. Cubs lead in front of their home faithful as you get a look at the line score to see how we got to this point. Here's Bryce Harper now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First pitch of the at bat. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Mm -hmm. 
hit in the air to straightaway center. Half sprinting after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. That won't help much. It's 11 to 2. So digging in now, Jose Quintana. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Here it comes on nothing and two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. In now, David Bowie. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Coming to the plate now, Ben Zobrist. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken up in the zone. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Herrera on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Cubs are down in order, and it remains an Pedro Stroke comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now with the plate, Andrew McCutcheon starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, Odubel Herrera, his career line against Pedro Stroke. He's hitless in three at-bats. Hit down the line at first. Rizzo is there, and yeah. he'll step Ow. on first for the out. Three unassisted. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Franco. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Weak grounder down the line at third. Bases are empty here with two men out. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Philly down to their last strike. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. 11 to 2 is the way this ball game ends. The Chicago Cubs You're jumped out to an early lead in the tonight. first and never looked back. Jose Chicago Quintana. Cup.